Right, so welcome back to another video. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the most outrageous, weird, cringy pickup lines, profile reviews, and nice guys on these dating apps on Reddit. We're going to be taking a look at Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, all these different dating apps. So the first few start off pretty outrageous, and it gets even crazier as we progress later into the video. So let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, bold move. Let's see what it is. He sent a pic uninspired. He said, oh, no hard feelings. I hope it's not, not a bad photo. That's not especially interesting. You gotta roast me now. That is, well, that is pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That is pretty crazy. Let's see what the comments say for this one. Roast him. If you walked into a wall with an erection, your nose would hit the wall first. That is, yeah, that is, you know, fair enough. Write that down. Amazing nagging. Being the nice guy doesn't work. Hoping this does. Fair enough. I guess some people are on different dating apps for different cases. Some are to find love. Some are to find um just just for fun, I guess. Wine dine sixty nine. Only in the states for just one more year. Just want to be wined dined sixty nine. Not your future GF. Well, at least they're straight to the point. You know. I wouldn't want to go on a date and then actually you know, feelings bug the girl after like multiple dates, after multiple dates, and then just find out she doesn't want to be romantically interested, I guess. So um yeah, respect, say what you want, sounds expensive sounds expensive though. I respond, you cool with chilies. Fair enough, fair enough. Like brands. Okay. I finally matched one guy on hinge after using it for a week. Where I like to talk to him and we were supposed to meet the coming week but he found someone else before the scheduled date and thinks she's the one. That is actually pretty, pretty outrageous, I'm not gonna lie. But I'm sure you will find someone as well. Like there's always a better option, a better opportunity. Let's see what the comments say. So welcome to online dating. Rule number one, it means nothing until there is a second date. That is true. You are now, it's crazy out there. I'm sure, illustrious sorry, 956, you'll find somebody as well. <laughs> Potential scam. Recently rejoined the app and went through where what I can guess were two separate scam accounts. Was curious if there's something people are seeing out there or am I just reading into it? Was talking with two people on the app, mainly quick convos, and they offered me the snap. I added them on snap and they never added me back. I checked the app, I've been unmatched. Really confused if these are bots or I'm just unlucky. Game's the game, not everyone wins. Let's move on to the next one, really. Not everyone is ready for a critical thought. Let's, let's see what the critical thought is. Profit is theft, change my mind. Or are those who can't make a profit just dumb? It's disappointing to realize your intellect is limited to insults. Only the strong survive, babe, and the privileged. So you're saying nobody can make it in life if they aren't privileged. Pretty narrow-minded if you ask me. Well, I wouldn't say that's the case. I wouldn't say that's the case at all. Let's see. Let's see. I'm curious to see what people think of this one. Dude, this is just embarrassing for you. Take this down. That is true. It is pretty embarrassing. Moving on. I need help on planning. Well, let me help you. So I went on a date three weekends ago. We're talking for over three weeks. Finally, we were like, let's go on a date. We went to a nice restaurant, had some drinks, some great food. Alcohol starts kicking in and we start flirting. We leave. As we leave, he kisses me and he asks what to do next. I said, I don't know. I think we should call it a night. I knew I was drunk. We end up going to his house. You know, things get hot. Nothing could happen because he could not get hot enough. We tried like 10 times, all said, all said was we, it is what it is. I left the next morning, I'm confused because we would talk every day and now he just literally ghosted me. I'm so confused, the date went great, he's 21 years older than me, I'm 25 and I was still okay with it. Okay, so, this, I, I'm not too sure what to say in the situation, I'm not gonna lie. Um. Maybe don't be intoxicated and try getting an, ere an, an erection. And I, guess I don't, I don't know what to say. Okay. I'm starting to lose hope for men through online dating. How's life with a Y instead of an I? 
Fantastic watching Victoria's Secret fashion show. What about you? You serious? I'm watching the Dodgers right now. Why serious? Didn't know it's still a thing. I thought only men watch that. Didn't know you swing both ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm very disappointed in your take with this. Women do not watch it because they're lesbian. <laughs> Oh, well, why has he ruined it for himself? Well, you may not know it yet, but if you're watching that, you're max 97% straight. That is crazy. That is ac actually crazy. Okay, firstly, there's a couple of things that need to be broken down here. Life with the Y is just cringe. Watching Victoria's Secret is fine. Like, it's not a big deal. Like, some, it's not a big deal at all, actually. Like, like it's... That's a, that's something stupid like worry about or even even call out right right there and then. So um yeah, I kind of agree with I kind of agree with the girl in the situation, you know. Tell him he tell him he's not straight because he watches grown men chase balls. I mean that is true. That is true. I'm starting to lose hope in dating in general. Oh, it is crazy. And and it and if it if it was a joke, it did not come across as one. It came as you know condescending and um it's sarcastic if anything. Do women really think we buy this two hours before a date? Hey, something came up. I'm so sorry, but I have to go into work tonight. No worries. This frees me up for a salsa night. Hope you have a good night at work. Text if you ever feel like going out. Okay, so here's a, here's, here's a penny for my thought. Okay, so maybe she's working in the health industry. I don't know. I guess he got he get called out pretty quickly and frequently back back and forth then but it does seem like you stood up you got stood up for sure and um yeah i i, I wouldn't i wouldn't go out with them un unless they gave me a reason why let's hear the comments say he saw three four one four says this happened to me an hour before the date but the excuse was first she's running late and taking a shower then a 14 year old daughter was sick and had to wait after no response from her I was blocked and unmatched. She made a mistake by giving me her number because a few days later Facebook recommended her as a friend. I saw the recent pics of her with her husband and kids. Luckily I'm not petty and didn't try to expose her lol. Bro, you just put things into perspective. That's a whole other level. Her husband would have appreciated knowing the truth. Now he's probably cheating on her so she's trying to get payback but just didn't have the courage to go through with it lol. I mean... That is very mature of you to do, but um, I just out them. <laughs> I just out them. Right there and then, see, looking out for another brother. That's that's what I'd do right there. That's what I'd do right there. Hey, predict and teach me tricks. I am a twenty-one-year-old male. As I mentioned, I predict who will like back my notes. Also, tell if I'm doing right and there are any improvements. Do you want to listen to? Our love story, a fairy tale written by the time. I'm kind of confused to what's happening. I, I don't, I don't understand. Following. God ghosted crying emoji. Okay, a match and I ended up exchanging IGs and were t talking on the app. I was trying not to spam him with messages since his occupation is a first responder. I have anxious attachment, so I was trying to practice that. Practice that and be healthier. Fair enough. Fair enough. It's good. Good on you. You know. But on the day of our date, he ghosted me and removed me from following him and from my followers. I'm so bummed. I'm a bi woman, and he's the only guy I thought was cute. Like I understand it. It was immature of him to do that. But what if it keeps playing in my mind? I've deleted the app since. I don't think I'm emotionally strong enough to handle another rejection like this. Fair enough, you know, take your time, you know, you don't need to rush into anything, work on yourself, you know, you know live life, experience life, okay? That's what you want to do. And um, people, people come and go, that's the name. I'm not your on much, message me on OG. I, I don't know, that is, was he supposed to say IG? Help me Riz, okay, you come to the master. Damn! But anyways. Start the chat with Kamora. Okay, I notice you aren't smiling in your pics. Are you saving it for when you see me in person? Maybe with the cheeky little heart emoji. Smile emoji thingy. 
what could he say to Kamora? Okay, let's let's think about this. I notice you aren't smiling in any of your pics. Maybe. I don't know. I've got I've got negative Riz. <laughs> Let, let's see what people say. I'm curious. What Riz do you need? Guess what, Tram? She likes you on all your pictures at least. That was the corniest line going and <laughs> <laughs> the corniest line going and she was in why she thinks you're hot so have a fun normal conversation ask her out boom that's your raz you kids overcomplicate the shit ha 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 that is true that is true have a conversation about what though she also lives an hour away so i don't really want to go out of r.i.p meet her halfway talk about hobbies interests, and kind of things she likes this is simple man dog she mashed at 2 20 a.m there's a gremlin ass Right, you're doing, you're doing good. Just ask for a number and start planning the day. Yeah, I guess straight. Just say, Kamora. And don't say her name. Like Kamora. Like just say, drop your number and then I can make you smile. Or, I don't know, make you smile or something. Go and take my advice in this. Stop. Okay. Oof. Fumble the potentially good person. Now let's see why. So I mashed with the girl, who said so many beautiful things, like committed based. On a choice not based on feelings that she likes long walks and afraid of dying alone in the apartment she was looking for a life partner. My texting game is average. My problem is that I can't float or pull out any flirty or cheesy pickup lines until I get attached to that person. With this history, I pulled out the worst opening line. I guess I was asking her, where do you like to walk? City strolls or hike or just walking? I don't know what the fuck was I thinking. That's a bad, bad I guess. Then she unmatched me after four days without uttering a word. I had girls unmatching me after stuff like this, but I never felt a thing at all. I was like, I don't care anyways, and I should try to up my game. But this time I felt really bad and that I fumbled and might not come across a girl like her. I don't understand people who say first looks are deceptive and so, but I genuinely believe that sometimes first sights or the way you feel about someone falls. I've never considered deleting dating apps at all for such a thing, but now I really feel like that this thing is breaking me down from within and I should really give a break to all the dating apps, lol. I hope no one should fumble like me. Finding old school love in a dating app is really painful, lol. Well, that's your first mistake. I'm gonna call you John. That's your first mistake, John. You cannot find... I mean, I guess you can find old school love. Old school love. There was no dating in the dating apps back then. That entire idea of old school love it does not really work in that situation and um i guess people people say something but they don't really mean it or people may say something but they never really mean it like 90 percent of the time so don't take that to heart you know put yourself back up together go go live life and just happy like just look at me Happy. I'm not high by any means or anything like that, but um, yeah, it's fine. Like, I'm sure you you'll find someone even better than than her who appreciates you for you and for your war, for your bad opening lines. They'll 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 appreciate. That. They'll love that. So keep your head up. Deep waters. Eighteen. All right. Let's go on. Why is this affecting me so much? Oh, we are getting into it today. Met a guy on Hinge at the end of August and we really hit it off right away. Went on several dates and he was such a gentleman and so sweet. We had gay, great, I was gonna say gay chemistry. <laughs> we had great chemistry and things felt so easy and natural. We had sex about four or five times. We never talk about exclusivity, exclusive, exclusivity, okay? And although I was going on dates with other people, they all felt awkward and forced. I noticed last week texting him texting me less and not making as much plans as he once was. Then he calls me and tells me that his feelings changed and he wants to get back together with his ex. I feel so sad and down about this. Hinge has been pretty dry for a while and I'm, con I'm considering deleting it altogether. We went out only for a month. Is it weird that I'm upset by this? I've just been out of the dating scene for so long. This was the first romantic excitement I'd felt in a really long time. I guess I feel used. Well, well, here's my penny for this thought. This may feel a bit controversial, but if you did like him, what was holding you back from being, you know, being exclusive with him? Like, not that hard. If you just, you know, open your mouth and talk, 
That's literally what you gotta do. Ah. My generation, man. I'm telling you, dude. But, um, let's see what the comments say. Nope, your feelings are valid. Sex is intimate and can be very disappointing when someone doesn't feel the same way. True. Instead of focusing on what's lost, focus on the things you enjoyed. Perhaps tinker with your approach. No, not at all. I mean, you were bonding and getting used to this person talking, you know, to talk to, get intimate with, and go on dates. It feels really good to have this, you know, that type of person. I hope you feel better. Well, life happens. Men, do you talk to multiple women at once? Who ends up being your favorite? Someone asked me this question for women a few days ago, but now I want to ask the men with a twist. Do you talk to multiple women at once on the app? If so, what type of person would be your favorite and what does the dynamic with them look like? And if you only talk to one, what about it makes you want to put all your energy just her? If I were, right? If I was in a situation like this, I'd probably just talk to one. Um, and what would make, you know, what about her makes you want to put all your energy into her? I, I think it takes time to get to know someone. Might as well just talk to one person. Not like might as well, but like you know, talk to one person. You know, actually understand who they are, where they're coming from, um, and you know, like properly know a person. Because if you're talking to multiple people, like I personally couldn't keep up with it. I'm a really busy guy. I don't personally. I don't like doing that. Um, yeah, I just talk to one and see where things go. If not, on like that's 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 how the cookie crumbles. You know. Let's see what the comments say. Used to talk to one woman when things didn't really work out. It hurts. True. So keep your options. Focus on the one woman while talking with other women if you really connect with someone and she reciprocates the same feelings. You now have a girlfriend. If not, next. It, it may sound toxic or cliche, but the truth is that's how it is nowadays. A girl who can't communicate is a, is a is must cause. Trust me. The number of times I mash it, zero communication skills is painful. You can't take anything anywhere if she doesn't communicate. Multiple women. <laughs> that is so true. Is it possible to learn this power? <laughs> that is, you know, I'm going I, I, I'm to upvote that. It's normal for men and women to talk to several people. On, yeah, that's the thing though. On dating apps, it could be different. Multiple women at different times. Even like in on dating app situations, it could, it could be that as well. Um, but... I think the first comment kind of says it all, you know, the first comment kind of just breaks it down. Um, I personally, I don't really do much, so um, I can't really say much about that, but I guess it does make the most sense as in others. But comment down below, guys, which one you think is the most crazy. Did, did you guys like my advice? Did, did it make sense to you guys? Comment down below, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. It really helps out. And um, yeah. Make sure, if you guys like this video, check out another dating video. I did a Reddit dating video about, you know, it gets pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie. But uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.